Hey, hey guys, uh, well, another successful day. Uh, I, I actually made notes this time uh, so I could act, actually say what we actually did have. Um, we had, and I actually tore my notes, so I'm sorry, see, I tore it by accident. Busy day, right? So we had veggie soup, split pea soup, hot dogs and chili, baked beans, spaghetti, PB&Js, tuna salad sandwiches, pepperoni sandwiches, apple crisp, mac and cheese, coffee, hot chocolate, and <coughs> there's something else, but it's right where I tore it and I really can't read it. Um, so anyways, that's what God provided. It was, it was again, perfect amount. Uh, I'll say it every single week. God always supplies it with the perfect amount. We had a good amount of people. We had about 150 people that showed up. Um, we're actually still kind of closing up. There's still some people over here. And I, I heard a really, uh, really awesome testimony that one of the guys, Jimmy, who we've been ministering to him probably, well, I don't know, probably since July. And he's really had a hard time trying to find a place to stay. Well, he told me today that he just got uh, a condo. So, Jesus rules. Amen. So he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be moving out. He's gonna be moving out of the shelter and moving on with his life. And praise God for that. He knows that God gave him that. Um, I was telling the, the the people in the line today that I don't see anyone that we ministered to a year ago. They're, they moved on. Um, and what I told them was, don't say it's luck. Don't say it's by good fortune or chance that you received a blessing. Blessings are from God. Give God the glory. Let him know that you recognize what he's doing in your life, no matter how big or how small. And, you know, I, I come across a lot of people who do that. And honestly, there's a lot of people who can't wait to tell us what God's doing in their life. Uh, it's, I'm honored to, to hear people share that. Um, I just ask that we continue to pray for all these people. Pray for Jimmy. Uh, pray that... Pray that he always be in God's will. Pray that he recognize the Holy Spirit's voice and pray that he has the eyes to see where God's leading him and, and that he has the faith to trust him. I mean, that's really a prayer for any one of these guys out here, even, even myself, that's for sure. We all want to, we all want to do the right thing or we all, a lot of us, you know, honestly, I, I sometimes want to take the shortcut too. And it's hard to believe that the Lord's going to guide us in the direction. And, but that's when we rely on our faith. That's when we need to talk to God to give us that strength. Brothers and sisters, just continue to pray for the city. Uh, this is an amazing city. Uh, the people are amazing. Uh, you know, there's a reason why so many people in this city know God's word. They have it. They they, they have it all up here. And they need to move it down 12 inches to their heart. But there's a reason for that. I believe that there's a reason for that, and I believe that God's prepared this city. God's prepared this city for an awakening. We need to intercede for it. We need to continue to pray for it. We need to believe that God's going to do great things in the city. Pray for families. Pray for children. Pray for this generation. Pray for a spirit of repentance. I always say that. Pray for a spirit of repentance. That should be a prayer that all of us pray. Pray for a spirit of repentance. I pray that. Uh, pray that God uses the people of this city, not just for this city, but show the world what God can do. Pray for the ministry. The ministry needs your prayers. The ministry needs prayers for just Holy Spirit guidance. 
provisions, continued provisions, wisdom, eyes to see the road that the Lord set before us, and the ears to hear the Holy Spirit. We'll continue to pray for a truck or a van. We'll continue to pray for a building. And I know one day God's going to honor that, that prayer. I really believe that. I love you all. Have an awesome week. Um, just keep praying.